My name is Dave Murphy. I'm a Territory Account Manager with 360 Yield Center. I cover Wisconsin and Northern and Central Illinois. Across my territory and the entire Northern Midwest, white mold in soybeans is a really prevalent disease. It costs us a lot of yield in many years. It thrives in cool and wet conditions, especially in higher fertility fields and fields that stay wetter under the canopy. This morning we're standing here in a field on my home operation. We're in a soybean plot that we do in cooperation with Major Seed Company. In addition to yield, one of the main goals of this plot is to develop the white mold soybean disease ratings that, that occur in your seed guide every year. This field was picked because it has an extreme white mold history. In the very cool and wet year in 2009, this field only yielded around 15 bushels per acre. White mold is such a difficult disease to manage because the way the spores behave during their life cycle. They like cooler and wetter conditions and they overwinter on, in the soil on residue and on old plant material. And then when the conditions are right, they reproduce, they release spores out into the lower canopy and they usually infect our plants in through the flowers or in through the lower stems. In the past, our best tool for managing white mold was just to pick varieties that were more tolerant than others. That's where plots like this come into effect. We work with a product agronomist at this seed company. He comes out several times a year. We take white mold ratings and we compare their varieties and many other competitors. We take them to yield and we also compare their white mold susceptibility. Tools like this plot have been the only thing we've had to rely on in the past and pick our soybean varieties based only on their rankings. Many operations across the northern Midwest, this disease is so devastating, that was the only way that they were able to choose their soybean varieties. Now we have a new tool coming onto the market. 360 Undercover gives us a way to put fungicide in the appropriate place that we can use it to control this disease. The fungicides that are labeled for white mold have been on the market for many years, but the issue was we could never get them placed in the, in the position where we could use them to control the disease. The disease sporulates and releases its spores down below the crop canopy. So conventionally spraying over the top a fungicide with an airplane at a low gallon per acre, or even a ground sprayer where we could use a higher gallon per acre but we couldn't get penetration, were never that effective and didn't really return economic results. Using the nozzle body of 360 Undercover, we can spray the fungicide and any insecticide or anything else we may spray at the time down below the canopy of the leaves and we can get a great, we can get great coverage of the fungicide on the lower half of the plant and on the soil surface using the rearward facing nozzle. To make fungicide effective against white mold, we also need to move the timing from our traditional R3 when the soybeans are first potting up to R1 when the soybeans begin to bloom. That's when the infection occurs into the soybean flower. So utilizing 360 undercover, we can place our expensive fungicide into the crop canopy where it needs to be to control the disease and also move it forward in time to the time when the soybeans are actually being infected. We can begin to turn the tide on this tremendous yield robber and we have a new management tool to put in our toolbox with 360 Undercover.